Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. Czech Defense Minister Jana Cernochova revealed Prague's ongoing negotiations to procure 15 Leopard 2A4 tanks from Germany, as a gesture of appreciation for Czech military assistance to Ukraine. The agreement also includes an option for an additional purchase of 15 units, alongside three Bergepanzer BPZ-3 Buffalo R vehicles directly from the German defense sector. This collaboration forms part of a wider initiative where the Czech Republic has already received 15 Leopard 2A4 tanks as a donation from Germany and plans to acquire several units of the more advanced Leopard 2A8 version in the upcoming years. These arrangements are underpinned by two pivotal contracts, the administrative arrangement between the Czech and German defense ministries and the agreement on tank deliveries between the Czech Republic and Rheinmetall Land System GmbH. Notably, Germany's Ringtausch program is instrumental, incentivizing allies to exchange their Soviet-era equipment for readily available NATO standard gear, thus benefiting Ukraine. In November 2023, Germany had already supplied 14 of these tanks to the Czech Republic in exchange for armored vehicles dispatched to Kyiv. The Czech Republic's substantial support to Ukraine, comprising 62 tanks, 131 infantry fighting vehicles, 6 helicopters, and 16 air defense systems, has resulted in compensation totaling 19 billion crowns, approximately $900 million, with contributions from the European Union and the United States. Looking forward, beyond 2030, the Czech military aims to possess a fleet exceeding 100 Leopard tanks, encompassing both the 2A4 and 2A8 variants. These Leopard tanks, a collaborative effort between German firms Rheinmetall and Krauss Maffei Wegmann, KMW, signify a significant enhancement for Czech forces. Moreover, the Czech government is exploring a joint procurement with Germany for approximately 70 Leopard 2A8 tanks, indicating an ambitious expansion and modernization of its ground military capabilities. That's all for now. See you later.